Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today is all about catch, clean, and cook. We've already caught them, we've already cleaned them. Today's about cooking them. You gotta be thinking, what is he talking about? We got fresh walleye. Woo, one of our favorites, one of our favorites, one of our favorites. We catch them here in East Tennessee, even in Wyoming. They're very popular out there. Up north, uh, same thing. This fish, or this recipe, can be used for a abundance amount of fish. My idea was, Hash browns are so common on the flat top, right? It's one of our big breakfast staples. Now we're gonna incorporate the fish into it. We're gonna coat the fish with whatever favorite hash brown you like. I love when you guys argue with me and tell me how bad I am just because I like my refrigerated hash browns, but I do me. And we both agree that we like those because of the ease and flavor. So that's what we got going on And today. we have tested all of them. Many of them. All different kinds of hash browns. Check ready? out that video. One, th one thing, honey, your shirt's dirty on the sleeve. No shirt. You gonna go change? No. Is it bad? I mean, it's a little bad. Is it better? Not really, but that's fine. We'll keep this part. Oh, geez, it's on your other sleeve too. What in the uh, world did you I do? Bet that's, I bet it won't never come out. The flat top. Before you say anything, my wife said, your shirt's dirty, you better go change it if you wanna keep filming. And happy wife, happy life. I fought her and I said, okay, I'm gonna go change. So don't harass me about the wardrobe change. It's got me so unfocused now. All right, so here's the deal. So uh, we covered all the fish today. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do an egg wash, flour, egg wash, and then we're gonna season our hash browns. I got a little of that paya uh, Cajun uh, seasoning from my man Cajun Ninja, love his stuff. You guys ever get a chance, check it out. And we're gonna put a little green onion in it, a little garlic as well, all right? So this is very, very versatile. The only step I would say to try to stay with is the breading uh, step. Other than that, you can use whatever hash browns you want, whatever fish you want, whatever seasoning you want. Our griddle is on. Low. Thank you. Preheating, heating up, here we go, all right. I'm just gonna put it all in there because we will eat it, not a problem. In that, I'm just gonna lightly season. Let's see. Uh, right Use a fork to keep it fluffy. You don't want this stuff uh, caked together, okay? So I'm just looking for a little bit of color and a little bit of seasoning. That's probably good right there. I don't wanna overdo it because we are gonna season the fish, okay? Uh, maybe just a hair more. It is spicy. But potatoes ultimately can absorb a lot of flavor. So I think it's just a perfect combination. That should be pretty good. Matter of fact, we can probably test them. Raw. Mm-hmm. I'll say that's good right there. I won't overdo it. Right there. All right. Chives, green onion. You can omit it completely. We love the flavor. I love onions in my hash browns, so this is my theory. You guys, you want to go thin, okay? You don't want chunks. Pretty thin, okay? I'm gonna squeeze just a little lemon in there for freshness. That is a third or a sixth of a lemon. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to overdo anything. This fish is delicate and we want it to stay delicate. We don't wanna overpower any flavors. Oh, about a tablespoon of garlic. All right, for our fish, I'm gonna do multiple portions. So, something like that right there, okay? All right, when I try to teach you guys something, especially dealing with fresh, well, let's put it this way. This is fresh fish that has been frozen. We caught it ourselves, so I don't know if you would consider that fresh or not. 
it has been frozen. When we thaw it out, or when we freeze it, we freeze it in water to protect it so it doesn't get uh, freezer burnt. When we thaw it out, I like to thaw it out a day before, or two days before, really. Then I put it on a rack like this, right? And then I'll just put my fish on it just like this, and you'll be amazed how much water actually leaves the fish, and that creates a drier fish for you, okay? If you take it right out of the water, I think it'll just be too soggy. Um, or if you thaw it out and it thaws out in its natural juices from a pre-made package from the store, there's way too much moisture and that's not what we're looking for. You want this to be pretty dry. All right. Kind of looking for about uniform pieces. All right, so there's my flour. I've got one egg beaten. I've got the seasoned potatoes now. I'm just gonna simply come back with a fish and salt and pepper only. You can add any seasoning at this time that you want. You want to add more blackening, more Cajun. You want to add your favorite seafood rub, whatever. All right, now that everything's done, let's go ahead and just let's uh, bread them. So I'm just going to do flour first. If you're shy about cooking um, food with your hands, this is probably not the greatest recipe. You can always use gloves. I'm not, I'm anti-glove. Show you why. So once it's got the flour, the egg, come back in here with the potatoes. And don't be stingy with the potatoes. This is gonna burst steam. That heat is gonna penetrate through the griddle. You want crispy hash browns, but those potatoes are gonna steam as well. And that's gonna cook your fish. Let that egg and flour be the glue. That's why we season our hash brown. Look at all that season, the green onion, the garlic. And just keep doing that until your stuff's done. All right, I always try to teach you guys something. Today is no different. You put a lot of effort to put butter and oil down first, right? To create that great landing pad for these hash browns. You want, to re you want to do that again. You got me? Don't just flip these over on a dry surface. Move them off the side, add your butter, add your oil, and you will be rewarded with crunchy sods, okay? So I know these are good to go. I'm just gonna move them off the heat. A little bit of avocado oil. My butter is melted, but it's just about the same amount. Out here, and now we're just going to flip them. Oh, yeah, all right, guys. Pretty easy. You're just watching your hash browns. Don't let them get away from you. Just make sure that fish is cooked all the way through to your liking. What temp did you shoot for? 140. Inside the fish. Yeah, 140. From here on out, you're talking about choices. You got all the choices in the world, whatever you want to put on it. We like tartar sauce. I do not like sweet tartar sauce. If you know anything about me, I do not like sweet. I like the dill, vinegary style barbecue sauce. I think it cuts. Vinegar. What did I say? Barbecue. I like the dill, vinegary tartar sauce. Um, I think this will, it will complement this greatly because there's so much um, fat from the oils, the butters, and potatoes that I think it's going to cut through nicely. That's my opinion. Everybody's got one. I'm just going to dollop them up, make them look pretty. Just come back in here with a little parsley. That's gonna be my vegetable for the day. I guess I did get some green onion. And then I'm going to hit it with that lemon. There you go. Well, there you go, guys. Nice, easy, very versatile. I just think it adds another 
repertoire? No. Another, um... Just speak. Don't try to think of something. I don't even know what to think of. Fancy. Another... Dish to your collection? Another recipe to your Flat Top Grill recipe collection? There you go, guys. Another dish to your collection. Hash browns are always around, especially when you got a griddle. Now you got fresh fish. I just think it's a fantastic combination. It just changes the game up a little bit, and that's what it's all about. But now it's time for the taste test. Ooh. Let's see. Flaking apart so you know it's done. <laughs> that was the greatest bite ever, honey. Nice, flaky. Crunchy hash browns, crispy hash browns. Mmm. Mmm. You even think I'll like it? Huh? You even think I will like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of homemade fish. What do you mean homemade? I didn't grow it in the backyard. Well, you did catch it though. I'm not a huge well, fan. Well, not of, in the backyard. I'm not a huge fan of lake caught fish. <laughs> yeah, but that is different. I don't know with lake caught fish. <laughs> oh, geez. You don't like it? It's not bad if you like fish. Hey, you heard her. It's horrible. I wouldn't try this. Definitely don't tag us at The Griddle Group <laughs> on Facebook. But let's see what you guys are showing. I never want to see that stuff. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all you guys do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. I think it's a home run. Peace. Look at that flaky fish, those crunchy hash browns.